morning, everybody. It is Heidi Kaizen and Jamie at Hen and Chick Studio, and we are here for another fun time. I'm going to just say a fun time yeah. mm -hmm. because we have so many things. I, I've called this the big reveal because I feel like we have lots of things happening, not necessarily just quilts. Right. Going to have to hang oh, yeah, on. Have to, because there is something, and I think it's pretty exciting. I'm pretty, oh, I think yeah, it's going to be fun got, that we're going to talk about later. Oh, also, yeah. we actually do have a quilt to reveal. We do? A we brand have. new store sample that we've been uh, talking about that we're going to highlight. So you want to pay attention to that. We um, do. And stay tuned for that as well. Oh, my gosh. So there's going to be a lot of things throughout the entire show that you're going to want to see. So we're glad that you're here. And as always, we love to know where you are and where, what, where you're watching from. If you got your cup of coffee out this morning, so jump into the comments comments right away tell us where you're watching from and you know don't forget share this with a friend tag a friend um good morning, Dad. yeah yes <laughs> oh yes good yes. morning um be sure to tag your friends i mean the best thing that you can do to help us is help us spread the word mm -hmm. um of course we love it when you buy things and that helps us you know run our business but it also helps us if you help spread the word because there's somebody out there that might need just what we've got and we would love to have your help and in getting the like word out. Just, I mean, oh, we, getting we both enjoy going to different places and oh seeing different things. Not even necessarily, I mean, just like we were just talking about little other little shops you find and treasures you find oh. along the way. And how many of you have learned of something from somebody else? That's right. And so that's what we're asking you to help us with. That's right. It's we think we are a little treasure. That's right. We do. Mm -hmm. Right here in central Iowa. So if you're not sure where we're at, we're in Conrad, Iowa. If you're in Iowa, that is, I'll say, halfway between Des Moines and Waterloo, if you were to draw a diagonal line, we're about 15 miles north of Marshalltown, 15 miles south of Grundy Center, give you some parameters there. Pretty much, uh, right, and we're within an hour and a half of all the major cities. That's Cedar right. Rapids, Iowa that's City, right. And, Ames, and, Des Moines. And uh, then you draw a bigger circle. We're five mm -hmm. hours from Chicago, four hours from Minneapolis, three hours from Omaha, four and a half hours from Kansas City. Have I missed anything? Uh, six hours from St. Louis. Do you know what I mean like we're we're all it's all right there. We and do we know six hours from Indianapolis. And we too. yes, we yes. do. So, we do. Yes. So see, you can make it here in a day easily. Um, of course, we have regular. Um, we're a regular brick and mortar store. Well, and that's something else they need to know, Heidi. Because if you are not wanting a road trip, we know a lot of people. We have a retreat center upstairs. Come and join Minnesota and Missouri and join yep. here together. If that's not something that's on your mind, I just hope somebody, in fact, she was from Iowa and she yesterday, she called to see if we had something. She didn't realize everything in our store is also on our website. That's right. So if you're physically unable to get here, no worries. That's we bring right. bring it to you. And when we show things like we're going to this morning, it doesn't mean that it's only available today. We're trying to make sure that you know that these things are on our website. So if today you go, oh, I don't need that. And then tomorrow you wake up and you're like, Oh, I need that. I need to make that for my graduation present. Or That's right. Then you day. know you can always go to our um, website, Hen and Chick Studio, and that's Hen, one hen. So the hen, there's hen, H-E-N. One hen. We have one hen. And chicks, lots of chicks. Of course, there's three chicks in my family, my little kiddos. Not so little anymore. Nope. Um, and then, of course, all of the chicks of our fam of, of our community here at Hen and Chick Studio. So henandchickstudio.com. We reference it a lot. Um, I can see right now about half of you that are watching this morning are on our website. We love that. If you're not on our website, if you're watching on Facebook, wonderful. Welcome. Um, if you've never tried the, face, uh, the website experience, we encourage you to do that as well as we get going and showing some different products. You can actually scroll through the products a little differently than you can mm -hmm. on Facebook. And again, for those that we know more are popping on, you do, we are, if you got our text message this morning or you saw it online last night, the big reveal, is that what oh, you yes. call it? Oh yes, oh yes. So stay tuned because we do have it. We have multiple things. We have things. multiple things to reveal. Multiple things. So stick things. with us because there's some fun things happening. That's right. And so we're gonna get started and show you some beautiful, beautiful fabrics this morning. Jason Yenter is a designer. Uh, he owns the company In The Beginning Fabrics. Mm -hmm. His mom owned a quilt shop called In The Beginning that was out in the Seattle area. I've been there. Um, I was there when it was open. Um, I have, have some fun stories to tell. I won't digress as to all that. 
Um, but it is he is he's grown up in the business, mm -hmm. and I think that really shows in how he designs fabric as well as he's a quilter. So I think it also makes a difference works in when somebody has that yes. all of that experience. Yes, and let's step yeah. out of the way mm -hmm. for a second because I think just to be able to show you that these are the collections that we have right now of Jason Yenter, and I of course sort of select a a certain group if you want to say or a certain colorway. But they all go together absolutely beautifully. Right. And so one thing we're going to talk about is how her, his collections, as you can see, if, as, as we stepped out, hopefully you can see, it yeah. all is a, it's a beautiful palette together, but these are not all the same collection. No. So they mix and match very well within his collections Right, which is well. going Right, which is going to lead us in a little bit to some inspiration yes. of mm -hmm. how you could use the fabrics if this was a, a collection that you right. wanted. So let's go ahead and get started. And I see, I'm going to just say, I see Florida, uh, uh, Illinois, Missouri. I saw Missouri, North Dakota. Yeah, I saw North Dakota. Uh, yeah, so wonderful. Welcome, um, all of you here. Oh, and I should say, if you're not sure how this works, um, first of all, you can just watch. Don't have to do anything, right? If you think that there is a product that you want, you could write sold and then the number that pops up on the screen, and that will send a message to your uh, messenger if you're in Facebook mm -hmm. or We'll add it to your cart on our website so that you can start to create your wish list. Nothing is finalized until you actually check out. Mm -hmm. um, and we do not come and hunt you down like, oh, you put this in your cart. Because I know sometimes it's a people want to see what it is, they want to reference it, and then they want to go back later. And how many times do we all do oh, that? Yeah. You put it in your cart to get back to later, or you have a few minutes, you're like, if I don't put this in, I'm going to forget about it. Correct. You can do that, and you can put yep. it in there. It's, yep. It's, um, the one thing that could happen is, is it, that it's gone. It's gone, um, it, but it won't be ever removed from your uh, cart once you put it in there. That's correct. So that's correct. Also, I want to ask. Marilyn, oh, we got Arkansas too. There and, we go. And another Florida. Um, but I want to ask Marilyn: Is you're sewing together your cream happiness um, blooms? When you get that done, well, first of all, I think it's going to be beautiful. But when you get that done, would you share a picture of it in oh, our yes. creative community? Because in the store, we happen to just have a, 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 a the slate. slate sample of it. I would love oh. for people to see the cream version. Oh, so please if you do, would Marilyn. Help us, Marilyn. We would love that. Okay. Yes. Sorry, okay. That and if you're not a member of the creative community, be sure to jump over there later. And that is our Facebook group and join mm -hmm. that. We'd love to yes. have you there. Okay, okay. Let's talk about Prism. Okay. Should we talk about Prism? Yep. So Prism is the newest collection from Jason Yenter. I'm going and to step back here. So. Would you want to grab, well, you want to grab the bolt. Yep. You go ahead and grab the bolt. So Prism is the, if you're referencing it on our um, screen, so to speak, right yep. now, it's all of this row right here. This is all Prism, okay? And so I'm going to talk or show a little bit, and, and Heidi might talk. We know we both may not be on the screen, but we can still talk, and you can still That's hear our right. voices. And so uh, he has some beautiful um, purples, and they range, I'm going to say, everything from sort of light to dark. He's got a little bit of everything there. And um, it, I, I love I love the depth. What yeah, I, I was, love. I was gonna just say that, Heidi. Yeah, and if you talk about that a little bit when you're doing that, absolutely. What I love about the depth of it is the fact that um, you can cut it up, and you're still going to get the um, I'll say colors, but it, it, it's you're not like chopping up the whole pattern. So you're getting definitely something that show is you on this guy here. Yes. what it kind of is what she's talking about. And hopefully you can see it. Now we do have a nice sunshiny morning here. It's a little cool still in Iowa. I don't know what it is other places, but you can kind of start to see some of that depth that she's talking about. So if you have a two and a half inch square and it's you here, automatically it's going to look get it. totally different than yep. here. And people say it quite often. They'll come in the store and they'll be like, oh, you know what? This is a batik. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's got the look of some of the batiks, but it is not. It mixes well with batiks. That is for sure. Uh, this is a fun one, a little kind of like a wheel, but... Again, it's the texture and the design. I think that he does such a good job of, I, I'm trying to, the varying of the same hue of color thrown in sometimes mm -hmm. and you get that random, like the turquoise thrown in with the purple. That's right. So that, there's, you can read this if you put this one with. Um, That's the hibiscus, I know that. If you put that with like a blue, it's really going to pull out that kind of aqua -y light blue color on That's that. right. That's right. And uh, again, not, have you pulled this one out yet? No. Okay, so this guy, I think, is just this stunning is great because it has multiple colors and um, can definitely be um, seen. And I'm going to look at the end of that real quick. Yeah. 
and see if I can see. Mm -mm. Okay, so um, definitely some very pretty um, pieces and um, they're all just gorgeous. So we've got, he's got multiple blues. You wanna pull one of those blues out and we won't show every one of them. Um, I will try to uh, show you several of them on the screen so that you can see them, but we won't uh, pull out every single bowl. No, we just wanted to give you really a better, up, up close look at some of the yeah. color variances. Yeah, and, and the, that. like the wood block one yeah. is a little bit different. And yeah, this, and that teal leaves, yep. oh, just gorgeous. And again, hopefully you can start to see the play on the depth of color, I guess. Would, how would you say, saturation? I think it's saturated, I think there's depth of color, I think there's variation, mm -hmm. I mean, everything that you can find. Let me get and, the wood block. Well, grab the wood block, um, yeah, that's the wood block teal. Oops. Again, it's just, it's just, when his fabrics come in, we're always just almost Because they're, they're so, they're so deep. Um, see if I can find that one for you. Why are you looking at the hibiscus? I'm going to pull yeah. out another hibiscus one, just so you can see the same print. Um, the hibiscus one, we've had, there's the orange or red. I'm not sure exactly what color wave this one is technically called. But again, so you can kind of start to see the varying colors with it within the collection. And again, the prism collection here is um, what you're seeing across the top. This is all the prism ones. So if you wanted to search for um, the entire collection. Of course, on our website, you can search by the designer, which in this case is Jason Yenter, and you could see all of these fabrics right on the website if you just wanted to search it that way. We're just trying to pick out and highlight a few of them, and I know we're not always getting all of them up to the screen, but let us know if you're able to kind of see some of the depth of the things that we're showing you today. They are absolutely stunning, beautiful fabrics, for sure. And I can see that people are loving the fabrics and loving the, the colors. And I'm just uh, putting a few more up for you so that you can see um, all the variety um, that he has because um, mm -hmm. they are, they're absolutely beautiful. Yes. Now, we do want to just mention that there is a stripe. Yes. And do we have, is it right, is yep. it behind you? Yep. Is it behind you? There is a stripe. Um, here's, here's a a realistic problem that happens with quilt chops. Just have to, you know, I mean, say it. The, the stripe out of this. Yes. Way. Is that when we get the bolts in and we cut the kits, which we're going to see in a minute, we end up with pieces left at the end of the bolt. So um, our biggest pieces that are left are roughly two, I think they're all two they're yards two, or yeah. maybe a little bit more. And so um, if you were to order this particular stripe, and let's just say you ordered three yards. You're gonna get a phone call from us and we're gonna to explain to you that we can't give you one three yard piece. Mm -hmm. So if you say, I mean, think of it, two yards is a 72 inch quilt. So if you're thinking you're gonna do a wall hanging and you're gonna use this as the outer borders, you're great. Mm -hmm. You're gonna you know, order two, two yards and you're awesome. It's gonna be perfect. But we can't do like a continuous three yard or four right. yard um, piece because unfortunately, all we have left are the ends of bolts of each of those. But it's still a significant amount. I mean, yes. so and so we, and we didn't, in this particular case, we did not break them up. Like sometimes we'll do a, that this is exactly what it measures mm -hmm. because we were trying to figure out how you might want it best. Mm -hmm. So we didn't do that. Yep. But just so you know, that's, that is, there's a couple stripes in it within his collections that are left yes. of this and we'll one. Show, we can show yep. a couple other ones. Yep. So, the thing with uh, Jason is that he always designs um, usually what he refers to as a block of the month um, quilt. So the first big reveal here is going to be, and this is the first but not the last reveal of the show, um, is that we're going to um, show you the new prism block of the month. And if we've shown you the kit, the kit we've shown you the kit, um, and uh, we also have the individual pattern. So if you just like the pattern, but I don't think there is anything like, like seeing the real quilt. And Stephanie um, has been working so hard. Now don't knock, uh, oh, say. Gosh, let me move some stuff here. All right, and we're gonna, I just give us a second. We have a set change, set change. Okay. Well, should we just hold it up? Yeah, let's well, just I think hold it up. Be, but I think I'm gonna keep it down low. Can't I think I'm gonna back up. Okay. Hold I'm on. We'll pull see if the I can camera back. It's like a tease here, you know. Can't see it yet. Just 
<laughs> like Santa. He's coming. Okay. He's coming. Okay, I'm going to do coming. my best. My long arms. Okay. You ready? Don't knock your computer okay. off, though. I won't. I won't. Here we go. Yeah, look is at that. that. Is that and Heidi, that. Did get it? Yep. Did get it out? Enough? You are pretty much. It's hard to see the border stripes on it, but I hope that gives you the idea of this quilt. I'm going to come back in closer now. Oh, yeah, come now. back in and see the detail of this quilt. And I am telling you, there is, I'm going to put it down for just a second yeah. to my arm, but the, it is so stunning in person. No, no photo, um, mm -hmm. no computer is going to do it justice. And, I'm just going to pull up um, some stuff Yeah, show here. up some of the detail. And, you know, uh, we've been talking a lot about finishing quilts. And I thought Stephanie did a great job um, of finishing this in the fact that, um, here, can I go like this? Yep. If we go like this, can we see a couple of those blocks? Mm -hmm. And, the, and the, the vibrancy of the fabrics. But she chose a, she chose a very simple meander line. Um, across the quilt for several different reasons. Number one, we know a lot of you like to rent our long arm quilting machine and, you know, just give you the idea that you, you don't have to do all, you know, all sorts of swirls mm -hmm. and loops and all that kind of same thing. So that's one thing. Second thing is if you were going to custom quilt this, I do think that the quilt is already busy enough that I think the simplicity of the quilting lets the fabric and the pattern, the design stand out and the quilting just becomes texture in the background. I want to just pull up this one, oh, yeah, here, which, this one right here. When we we're talking about the variants that you could get, let's go to this one, okay, here we go. within one piece. So this was that wheel circle. So see just the variants. These are all that same fabric. So yours will probably look a little bit different because it depends on where you're actually getting mm -hmm. that strip cut from. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to point that out since we were talking about that. Yes. But. Now, so a couple of things about this particular pattern and stuff. Okay, so we refer to it as a block of the month. All right, that's how Jason set it, set it up so that you could think that every month you do one block. Unfortunately, we have, and I guess there's a new phrase for this. Oh. Um, inadequate H human resources. Inadequate oh, human resources. Okay. I wouldn't call That's, it inadequate, but no, uh, I can no, in a, yeah, yeah. But, but more of that. We just we don't have enough people. Yeah. Like if we were to try to to Do a box it up and ship month, it out every yeah. month, we just couldn't. We don't we don't have enough people. To, to adequately do that. And not everybody wants to do no. it as a block of the month. Right. Some people so, would like to get it and do the whole thing. Yeah. So we package it all as one. So when you see the amount of that kit and you think about, you know, all of that, it is a block of the month, but we just package it all together. So yeah. instead of charging you, you know, $30, uh, you know, every month, month yeah. you're just getting it all at once. So everything you need to do the top is in the package mm -hmm. um, with that kit. I think it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. It, you know, it's just a beautiful thing. Mother's Day is coming up, you know, Mom, some of you might need to put a few hints. Yes. Um, in uh, some ears. It's um, a beautiful quote. And again, you saw the vibrancy of it on camera, um, <clears throat> but in person it's even... Oh, it is just, just beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let's just set that aside for the moment. And there is more to reveal as we go on, but we're going to continue on a little bit more with Jason Yenter. And, oh, we've added Nebraska to um, to the list Very here good. of people watching. Yeah. Love it. Maybe is it warmer in Nebraska? I wonder what the weather's like. I don't know. It's probably warmer in Florida, although I did think Florida got some storms, I think, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Uh, okay. Sunshine on my shoulders. There you go. Makes me happy. It always makes us happy. Okay, so there is the collection called Sunshine. And um, that... Uh, we only have a few pieces. a few pieces of it, but I'm going to show you just a couple of the pieces, but there is also a kit available and I'm going to grab that kit, but you'll notice here again, it's that variance within the fabric that makes it so beautiful. And, and our screen, it's the sunshine, the fabrics that we have left. I'm going to go over yep. just a little bit so you can see it by yardage are just those ones right there on the very end, right by Heidi. Right. And I, I could just put the crackle. Um, the mm -hmm. great piece yeah. um, that's up. And then there's several good gold pieces um, here that are, are absolutely beautiful. So and those again, are, this, oh, go ahead, yeah, sorry. No, no, beautiful. And then? And yeah. then the kit here has all of the pieces of the collection. Um, that's 
it's been a, such a stunning quote. We've yeah, talked about I mean, it we're before. We're almost but, out of the yardage. Yeah. That's where we're down to just the basics. But again, these blend in really well from with other pieces. But again, well. it's intended as a block of the month. We just happen to package it all together because we know that not everybody wants to have it as a block Correct. of the month. Correct. Now, that does have applique on it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can choose, you could choose to do it as traditional applique. We chose to do it as fused applique. And again, lots of pieces, but nobody ever intended that quilt to be done in a month, intended one block to be done in yeah. a month. And when you think about it that way, it is a very doable project. Now, we um, knew that, that uh, the quilt would never end up on a bed. Mm -hmm. And I think in many cases, it's small enough that I do think it would suit itself better for like a wall or just as a throw. So we did not, I mean, this is just a little... I'll say something to think about. Mm -hmm. We did not do every edge, like applique every edge down, but rather worked with Stephanie and long arming it that the density of, of the, the quilting mm -hmm. pattern was tight enough and dense enough that the quilting and the pattern, which was called raindrops, mm -hmm. which I love that, and perfect for all those flowers, um, that, that the machine quilting covered the appliques, caught the appliques, mm -hmm so that um, they are caught. Mm -hmm. And um, over time, sure, if I threw it in the wash, if I was using it as a lap quilt, um, if that kind of thing, certainly would those edges start to fray up a little bit? Absolutely. You bet, you but bet. Again, that's something for you to consider and your use and purposes of yeah. it. We have seen it done where somebody did applique. And it's gorgeous. Machine applique around every, uh, yep. every one of the flowers and it was beautiful as well. So yes. just something to think about as, it's yours yep. to do how you want. To that's play. right. Now, that's Jason Yenter also has, and we kind of had it tucked in here, uh, another collection that we have called, a, um, how do we say it? How, say it again. We decided, how, okay, how, I'm going to say Scion. How, so Halcyon, Halcyon, Halcyon. Halcyon. Um, <laughs> and, do, you know, we're probably not saying it correct. And Jason, if by chance you're watching <laughs> and we've said it wrong, we're sorry. Yes. And you can correct me when the next time I see you at market. So but right now, it's that, these right here. Oh. And I don't even know. I'm going to pull one out to show you. But I think you get a good idea. The great thing about this, these particular pieces is they're kind of a semi-solid, but yet they have that depth. And I love this particular one because you can play so many ways. And I'm just going to pull it out and show yep. you again. But it can work as a semi-solid in your quilt, and it can work as a, a background if you wanted to pop off. You know, if you wanted this as a background and you could use dark solids of different colors, you can use it in lots of different ways. Um, but I think it's, That's again, the orange. fun. I love it. Yeah, it's it's fun to see how this can mix with this up here. Correct. And I think that's, that's what or it's Or with really, other collections. And with other well. collections mm -hmm. too, but it just, it is super nice. Yeah. Absolutely. And then the other collection, um, we've got two other collections. The, we want to do that one first. Yes, Elijah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Elijah, we did have a kit for at one point in time, but they are all gone. Um, but we still do have a pattern available. Mm -hmm. And again, you could use this pattern um, and be creative with it not using every single piece of That's the correct. a lot of the collection you could get but you might have to um substitute but again you got other choices to substitute in on so we have a just a couple of the kits yep the and i think let's left. pull out this guy because yep. i think he's a favorite and it's the only one that's left of this but it looks like it is patchwork but it's not it's already you know pieced for you but it has his entire collection plus a couple of other little bolts uh you know of fabrics prints yeah. in it that make it just a uh, super sweet, um, super sweet. And um, and then why don't we pull out that one right there for sure? A, a kind and that, of another kind of wheel design, bubbles, bubbly yeah. wheel design. Yeah, and so again, I love how that there's purple in it. Can you mm -hmm. see the purple on the other side too? Yeah, no, no, let me see if I can get back to it. Yeah, I think you and, can. And you know, again, the depth of color that makes it look like it's more of a batik, um, but it's not. They're still just 100% mm -hmm. cotton. And so some great pieces um, here as well with all the Elijah mm -hmm. um, collection. I'm going to scan over yep. to that. Too, yep, you do that. So you can see the Elijah is on the bottom. These ones right here are what we have left of the Elijah collection. Again, it just all plays so well together. You wouldn't even know that you could use all the collections. It's beautiful. The last collection that we have is kind of a fun one. We really like this one because it's a little bit different 
in it, some ways. And I love black and white. I always think there is something so classic about black and white, and I never get tired of it. I never, ever get tired of these um, black and white pieces that are in his piece. And let me grab that piece out here. And this is called A Groovy Garden. And um, <laughs> this one is called The Circles. And it's uneven circles, which I like even more because it just has a different look to uh -huh. it. It's um, almost a it, modern contemporary look with that. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then there are a couple of panels left. You can pull out whatever you'd like out of there. Okay. Well, we'll you want to do that one? Flower, yeah. All right. That is the, uh, the multi. Um, and again, you can now see why it's called a groovy garden. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, and I grabbed the wrong one, but we'll find it. I'll find it here in a second. This one does also have a stripe on it, and this one actually has it on the bowl as yard and stuff. So this could also be your jumping spot to inspire what other colors you wanted to use in the quilt. If you wanted to use it with the black and white, and maybe... Um, oh, can you just imagine? Then put your colors in from there, depending on what pattern you wanted to make, how many different patterns you had. Um, yep, and there is the butterflies on it, which, which Heidi just pulled up too. Mm -hmm. And we know that there's a lot there's of people that love the butterflies. That. So, it doesn't always have to be a quilt that you're making with these. This one I could also see um, as a little Pillow pillowcase. Oh, pillowcases would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. And again, I love it because there are different sizes of butterflies and they just look like they're floating all around. So certainly fun. Oh, we've got, oh, we've got South Dakota and Pella and, oh my gosh, people, Wisconsin. We've added a couple more states since we've been going. I love it. So welcome to everybody. If you haven't been here before, no, that's all right. We would love, love having you with us. So again, we just love how Jason Yenter um, plays well together. Uh, he's got some great things and um, so exciting uh, about the new prism quilt and everything. So of course, then when we start seeing other patterns, we got the new monorail pattern mm -hmm. in. And the monorail pattern is an Atkinson design pattern, brand new. And we couldn't help immediately, of course, maybe it was the fact that we were working with Prism yeah. at the moment. We couldn't help but see that Jason Yenter um, would go very, very well in the monorail pattern. So we created a fabric kit. The pattern is not included in the kit. Because, of course, we already have come up with a second version as well. Um, and so we don't want you to have to buy um, the multiple. Can you hold all yep. that up? There she comes. And that, Let me hold What this. I want to say on the second version is we actually incorporated some Jason Yenter fabrics. And that's why I have it opened Show up so you pretty, can see. the pretty fabric in the back. Um, so there's a couple oh. Jason Yenter fabrics that we pulled into this. And then and there's and our... Match. Now, on this one, a little bit different. This one, um, you've got to remember... That's this, the that that's was the, the dark. That's the dark. So the flower is the dark. The flower in here, and then these pieces are pulling out your little in the, yes. rail, mono rail thingies. Yes. What, I don't know what they're, they're called. They're so cute. Yeah. So cute. Did you get both of those? Yep, I got okay. both of those up there. And so that is certainly one thing um, that we immediately see going with. And Heidi, um, can I can I skip something here yeah. for a second? Can I go back to this? I'm not really yeah. skipping. I'm going back to this pattern. Yes. One of the things I really like about, well, we know that Terry Atkinson or the Atkinson design patterns are written very nicely. If you're new to quilting, again, we're probably one of the first ones if you come in and say, what, what should I do? We'll probably go to Atkinson design. Because we trust the patterns, they're yeah. accurate, all of those kinds um, of things. And, and her yardages she calls for are a little bit more generous yes. than some patterns that we have. This one in particular though, it goes all the way from a runner to a queen size in Correct. the one um, direction set, which is really nice. But I don't know if you knew this or not, but on Rule the Roost next week, Oh. You'll be working on a monorail. Oh, that is awesome. So, no, I wasn't sure that, that what you were yeah. working on. Oh, so let's talk about Rule the Roost while we're here then. Because Rule the Roost is our public retreat. Um, our public retreat is open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day that we have it. Mm -hmm. um, it costs $25 um, to come and spend the day with um, others. Um, at this public to be inspired at this public retreat um, lunch is on your own um, we have made a little change um, to the schedule uh, and uh, it was originally scheduled that there was going to be a meal so if you're thinking um, that you had seen that you're not crazy 
Um, but it no longer is going to be a meal on a Wednesday. So it'll be $25 a day. And don't you worry, those of you who have already registered, well, you're going to get a phone call. Yep. And we're going to tell you, explain to you what's happening. And we have a couple other options yep. um, for but, but, So basically you bring your snack, your food, whatever you want, and what your, the project that you want to work on. You can quilt. You can. You did scrapbooking or photos. I, oh yeah, like yeah. I did photo yeah. editing because yeah. I needed to do that. That's creative work. Um, we've got rug hookers. We've jewelry got maker, jewelry makers, beading, beading yeah. Yeah. all of those so kinds any of, of those things. things. So and um, so rule the roost this time happens to be April second. Um, April no fourth fourth second. fourth. I'm putting up the dates right fourth. now. There we go. So the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, and you know it's a gift to give yourself. Really, honestly. Oh, because it is a gift. For $25, you get nine to six of focus time and yep. being talking to other people, having extra help if you need it, uh, yep. all that sort of thing. And and you know what? We hear more often than you think um, that that there are women out there that don't have friends that quilt. And isn't that sad, first of all? It is me. Because we are, we're your friend. Yeah. We're your yeah. friend. We'll be your friend. And I will be up there. And I'm and, sure Heidi will bop up there a little bit. Oh, yes. This and this time, yes. I ruled the roost in January. You're ruling the yep. roost in April. Yep. And But the idea is you're going to become friends with the, with the women that yes. are there. And that is awesome. We would love to have you join. You do have to pay in advance. Um, it's just so we have a number and make sure that we um, don't space, oversell yeah. uh, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So absolutely, I've put up the three days. And um, and also, um, it's one of those, again, that's another one where if you do have a friend that quilts and you haven't really, maybe you haven't tried a retreat, awesome way to test the waters yep. and see if the retreat format is something that you like. And I think our retreat center is pretty oh, comfortable well, awesome. and welcoming. Um, and so we'd love to have you try that yeah, out. If you us. haven't tried it before, feel an extra special invitation for you. And if you're one that has used our retreat before, maybe you'll comment and tell some of the things you like about coming and why a retreat is a benefit to um, give yourself. Again, with the monorail kit, it goes all the way from a runner of 13 inches by 40 inches all the way up to a queen, 88 by 100 inches in the pattern itself. You could probably... Yep. And, and, and what were you going to say? You could probably, you'd probably expand it if you want okay. to. Okay. And so here's, and here's the other thing that we, we talked about with another quilt. So this is, I think, a great scrap buster. Oh, absolutely. You know I mean, I think this is going to be a stash buster type of a project. So basically, if you have I'm gonna say three and a half yards of a contrast that includes the binding you can make a queen size quilt with and then just pull your pull scraps. scraps so if that's something that you're interested in and of course we've had shows where all we've focused on is the backgrounds yeah um and so you know we have lots of good backgrounds here um, but if that is something that you're saying hey i need a good basic you know even even oh, what we're showing sneak peek well even even what we've shown here with the Jason yeah. Yenter in the crackle, um, as well as the prism um, black and white, those would make awesome backgrounds. Okay, mm -hmm. so that is something. All right, what do you what did yeah. you find? This is the sneak peek of my what I'm going to be working with. Ooh, that's all I'll show, but that's oh. what I'm going to be working with on that oh, on that I particular even seen that. Okay, yeah. So that will be fun. So consider that. Okay. Okay. So let's now keep going. next reveal. Next okay. reveal, and this isn't the last one. We have more than one reveal. Okay. Some things I'm not sure I even know. Okay. Well, you, well, it, I, I mean, it's your reveal, because oh, for the uh, new pattern. Yes, okay. our new pattern. Yes. Jamie was inspired by Lori Belke. Lori Belke. Who was the first one that showed me this pattern. Right. And so um, um, by Heartstrings. And this is what we have a brand new pattern here at the store called Heartstrings, and I love it. I think it's so interesting. Um, I was reading the pattern, and of course, it says you need 36 two and a half inch strips. So that is a jelly roll. Or if you're in the stripology world, you've got it so easy, you can cut those two yep. and a half inch strips. I will tell you that the pattern does recommend straight quarter yards, not fat quarters in this particular case. Um, and that's what the pattern recommends. Yep. And I will say a couple things because I have actually made it and Lori Belke has made it as well. And she's a, a, a retreater and a avid quilter you see her in oh, our in the creative, creative community, community so again if you haven't been in the creative community jump in there but you can use fat quarters and um i'm going to show you what mine is if i can get it yes over. we'll see how it looks like but on mine i did a couple things different am i going the right way yep, yeah you're going the right way and it, it, it will look cray cray when you're first looking at it for sure but um 
I and my mother have challenged each other. This just a little bit of background on this. Um, I'm gonna back. I'm gonna back up a okay. second, Jamie, so that we can see, see you. So everybody, hold on. I'm not trying to make anybody car sick, but so I, I want you to be able to see the quilt. Crazy right now, but it's a great example of how you can use your scraps up. So every fabric in this particular one, heartstrings, is something that my dad reminds me of my father. Um, my dad, he passed away, and um, I have scraps left of fabric that was the inspiration for it. It's how to use my scraps up. So I just took every one of these special prints, and I think what a great way to a tribute to somebody or something that you love or we've seen it in the pinks we even thought it'd be great in the jason yenters Lori's was in cyclones uh a fun it, it was fun it was and it was sort of like whatever theme you yeah. want yep and that you love obviously it does, doesn't even match you know, nothing necessarily matches at all no but. think about my cherry quilt that oh, i yeah, made for yeah. hat hat hooray yeah i could have done all cherries and hearts because i love them yeah it could be school colors yeah. it could be um, I mean, there could be all sorts, of all sorts of things. Oh, you know, that would even be, wouldn't school colors be fun? Be I mean, fun. you were just talking about yeah. Iowa State, but yeah. I'm thinking high well, school. She did, she did Iowa State print on it. The yes. one thing I will say that I did different than the pattern, and this is, again, why sometimes being creative, in the pattern, if you can see in the center, they used the same two stripes in the center, then went out one, and then used the same one for the outer. Does that make sense how I'm saying that? So they're doing the same. These two stripes are the same. These two stripes are the same. Those two stripes are the same. I didn't do it that way. I just used whatever, literally whatever one I pulled off of my pile and did it. And I kind of like how it looks that way. So you have options even when you have a pattern. You don't have to make those two simple no. ones the same if you don't want to. That's right. So you certainly can, but That's right. it's still all the same thing. That's so, right. Fun project. It's not, again, it's not as super. And don't you, I mean, I, I think when I look at a quote like this, it has to be therapy for you. Mm -hmm. it has to be uh, heartwarming that you uh, think of your dad as you're making it. I always think that there's there's importance in that. Absolutely. And and I think of I think so many times when we are making quilts for other people, um, being able to keep them in mind and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, as it we're brings making a them. smile to your face it, yes. it, when you're making it for somebody else or in honor of somebody else. And yes. you know sometimes you might shed a tear or two, but that's okay too. That's all part of loving life and having people that you care about in life that's so right that is a super i would highly recommend this one if you want um a nice again scrap buster quilt if you just wanted to literally take out two and a half or f scrap fabric and cut two and a half inch strips yeah you could have a beautiful quilt with a background again yep. it's that three and a half yards of background. is that what it is i'm pretty sure uh two and, two and actually two and two and five eighths five eighths, five eighths and then another five eighths for binding so again, let's just round it up. Three yeah, yards. Yeah. If you've got three yards of backing, think of the quilts that you could do. Um, just and, with your scraps. With your scraps. And I think that is awesome. And we encourage you to do that. Um, you know, I, it's one of those things. I think that that is something that is important. So okay. great, great new quilt. Okay, so now even though we've got a new pattern in the store, it doesn't mean that we don't have a lot of other great patterns. And focusing on the Jason Yenter fabrics mm -hmm. this morning, because when we start talking about a specific fabric line, it is kind of like it's like a deep black hole that we get sucked into mm -hmm. of all the different possibilities, yeah. all the different possibilities. So we've pulled a few patterns. Yep. And, and we thought this was yep, one. Yep. So and the monorail that we already talked about earlier. Yeah. Both ones that we thought both of those would so work nicely with Jason Yenter's. Yeah, fabrics. Yeah, both okay. of those are good. So you've got both um, of those up on yeah. the screen. So let's keep going on because we've loved this pattern for a long time. Trellis from Cluck Cluck Sew. So again, the, it goes from a crib all the way up to a king queen uh, for your instructions on this. And one. it also uses two and a half inch strips. So if you had one jelly roll, you'd be pretty, if it had 45, it, sometimes a jelly roll comes with 40, sometimes with 45. If it has 40, it needs 42, um, two and a half inch strips for. Um, the throw size up to 104 for the king size. So you're really talking for sure three jelly rolls yeah. if you were using a jelly roll, which we don't sell. Some oh, people ask us why yeah. we don't. And we'll tell you why, because you can cut with your strip. Yep, you can cut with your own. And, and create it on, yep. you know, you get a jelly roll. Sometimes there's fabrics that you don't really right. necessarily want in there. Yep. You get to create your own jelly roll. Yep, and it's just one of those things I can't have at all. We yep. can't have it all. So can you and, imagine, I'm going to step out. Step oh, out. yeah. Imagine creating oh. your colorway because look at the golds right here mm -hmm. it's down here that's the sunshine gold and we could even go pink yeah and there. this this black from yeah. ha, um, halcyon would be beautiful we've got the different greens the teals Blues. i mean we could literally yeah. use the entire collection of jason yenter 
Um, and it would be absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this is your inspiration, and you can tell us which one you think would be. Okay, so yeah, so hey, let's have a little vote. Yeah. So we've got heartstrings, monorail, trellis. trellis. Okay, let's go in the order. Let's do it in the order. Heartstrings. We've already posted that one. We've posted monorail just now. We've done trellis. Okay. okay. What'll be the fourth one? Okay. A um, little bit different idea here. A little bit, you know, maybe not something that you would be drawn to, but a different one. I'm going to show you the back of it. Elliptical is what it's called. Now, as I can think of, you know, elliptical, you go round and work. round and round and round. Um, and it's kind of round quilt, but I want to flip it over to the back side because these are some images with color on it to give you a better idea again. And I do think that bottom one with the bright, mm -hmm. the brighter colors clearly shows that it would be a great quilt in Jason Yenter fabric. And the same thing, Heidi, I would argue that you wouldn't have to do the white background as being shown. Oh, no, you could, you could do, do a black. Dark background. Uh, easily do black. Okay. okay. Okay, and so a glow, another one. This one is a bit more piecing, so we kind of started simple. Yep. Kind of working up with more time consuming. It's not necessarily unsimple. It just more time would be involved. Sort of with this like one. day flower yeah. um, that we just got done with um, for the sew along or getting working on. It just has a more sewing. It's not that it's difficult, mm -hmm. just a little bit more sewing. And wouldn't that be pretty? You could really pick your primary colors you wanted with this one. Again, fat quarter or it could be scrap. If you did it scrappy, it'd be a little bit different. You need but another bolt up here to hold it there up. There you higher. go. There we go. I'll make it work. And Don't then worry. this is another one, and it looks there deceiving. I'm going to show you too. It's champagne and pearls. And the pattern itself here, when you look at this, each this is a color wave, but there's little strips and to me it looks deceiving on this because it looks small but you turn it over when you can see it on the bed so you can see how large that is but you could pick your three primary colors that you wanted to focus on whether you want or you could do all different purples and or you know your favorite color in there but another fun one just something different to think about yes yes and it, look at that look at those i mean and i think all of them would be beautiful so i'm gonna i'm gonna just scroll back through them for you so that you know that you could um, make sure that all of those work. Their options, um, or or with something else that you have. So tell us which one and you any like. Of them, pretty much any of them. These guys over here, not as much as a scrap buster, um, as these would be if you could use something in your stash as well that you have. Okay. Yep. So this is our inspiration of ideas for pattern section yep. of our program. Today. That's right. And okay. So the next one, the next set of inspiration. I uh, obviously yesterday, if you didn't see it. Um, mm -hmm. I showed my finished top, I should say our finished top, because it was truly a team effort. Yeah. Everybody's hands have yep. been involved in it um, uh, for making day flower, mm -hmm. which is part of the, um, it's out of the book, Sunday Best Quilts. And it has been what we've been focusing on for the last month, talking about, if you want to say a sew along, Sunday Best Sew Along. And that project, again, great for scraps. Great, great, great for scraps. Um, I could so see either the black or the white, or I could even see that you focus on like blues and greens and you make the purple be the, the diagonal part. So we actually, like as that. we were trying to pick one out of this book that we would use with Jason Yenter, we're like, oh, but this would work. And then the other one, the rain washed, which Heidi showed last week. Oh yes. And let's get that um, and out. And we'll get that out again. But again, when we're showing you a book, we want to give you lots of ideas and options out of one book to make it, again, if you're investing in a book, why not use a lot of the things? So Heidi's going to open this up And I didn't actually up hold bit. it up last week, Jamie. Oh, you didn't? I'll back no, it up. No, because it was on the table. Oh, well, she's going to. So I'm going to make her get her arms work out, but still, you can see it in Pier 44. And Jamie, could you do this in reverse? Could you play, make the white be the colors and the colors be black or something? Oh, yeah. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Totally different look. Yeah, and of course you can't get the whole thing, but you get the idea of it. Yep, there you go, honey, you're good. Can you, can you yep. see it? And, good. And just to show you that you can add a splash of color on the back. Woohoo! Yeah, and, and we don't have this fabric, no. so, but but is that not a, a backing that, that screams uh, hello to you? So a great quilt, um, perfect for scraps, and so there's that. And there's, um, another, there's this one too. And oh yeah! Oh, that one would be yeah. awesome. What's that one called? That one is called. I gotta flip the page back. But all of them already. in that. All of them in that um, book. Starling. <laughs> Pier forty four uh, house. Uh, the sweet confetti pattern are all wonderful, wonderful um, examples of of what you could use the Jason Yenter fabrics in. Yep. And then so then we went. Uh, oh, just one of our okay. patterns. So um, 
we've talked about this, the scrappiness is happiness. Again, remember, obviously, part of what we do is providing sales for people to be inspired to make Correct. a quilt. But what do you do with your leftover fabric? That's what a lot of what we talk about too. Oh, absolutely. And and I always think that once you own a book, you need to be able to really use it to the true um, use that it is. And so we like to highlight different things out of the books that we have here because I think it's easy to go, oh, I, I only liked that one quilt. And then you forget about the rest. Yeah. So we want to bring to your attention. Yeah. So scrappiness and happiness, we, we go back to this one so often. Oh, yes. Here. But I'm just going to show you a couple because, again, if you wanted nothing more than this to flip through on your coffee table, yeah. it's worth that investment That's every right. day. Okay? That's but right. We were like, what could we do fun? And so we have two that we just real quick, we didn't even go very far. It's like right at the beginning. But for something fun and different, look at the little mushroom quilt. Now, wouldn't that be fun with all the Jason Yenters popping? The little colors off on there. And I was asking, and, and Jamie did not know the answer to this, when is mushroom hunting season? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I know that that's like a big deal to, sh to ha um, hunt for morels. Yeah. Um, Because I like people keep it secret yeah, where, where, they, find where they find them because they, they have their own mushroom yeah. hunting, you know, kind of thing. And as a mushroom eater, I love mushrooms. You just don't but, know when the mushroom yeah, hunting. Yeah, I don't know when but that season is. But then there's also like traditional choices in here, such as this one, which is called crisscross. Again, you could use a variance of your scraps, but also a varying fabric of the Jason Yenter. And I appreciate the people who are saying which ones they like of this. I it's do, It's just too. giving you different ideas from what I would say simple yep. to a little bit more time-consuming. Yep. And then on the cover mm -hmm. is, a, uh, that is um, practical, practical. No, happy, uh, happy Trails. Happy Trails. Happy Trails. And with white background, uh, actually Golden Virginia have made that using... Uh, scraps. Mm -hmm. We have done it in a with a more dark background um, using the practical magic fabric. Again, I could easily envision this in a variety of different ways being done in the Jason Yenter. Oh yeah. So and there's um, this book again. As I'm flipping, just to give you an idea. So many. So many. Like any of these would work, but great ways to use your scraps. Yep. Oh my gosh, there's a cute one. That one, that flower was cute too. Okay. Sometimes we forget what's in these books too. All right. And then of course, Sunday Best Quilts. Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Strip Your Stash. We already did Sunday Best Quilts. Yes. Strip Your Stash um, is a book by Grundren Erla. We're always, uh, I'll say, referencing uh, the Stripology Rulers. And one of the things that I love about the Stripology Rulers is that if all you did was buy patterns from Gundren to support the ruler, you would have a lot. A lot. The nice thing is that the ruler goes way beyond yeah. um, her books. Every we we use it in everything we do now. Those oh, that's and, Oh, and I have to tell you, I'm, I got to tell on Stephanie yesterday. Okay. So Stephanie um, uh, was a holdout like I was <laughs> um, as to whether or not she liked the stripology uh -huh. ruler, and she, we, she had to do some cutting yesterday, and she looked at me and she goes. Well, can't I use the stripology ruler for this? And I said, <laughs> Yes, you can. can. And she was so excited and it whip, whip, whip. And she said, I can easily see that, you know, she was trying to cut an 18 inch wide piece into four, four and a half inch strips. She could see easily that it all was where it was supposed to be. Nothing was out of whack. And it went so she so much faster. Oh, and so fast. Yeah. Okay. So in this one, again, it's a good one. We've referenced it before. Um, but we we've done this pattern a few the Casanova. Um, and I'm going to see, actually, I'm going to flip it and over I'll, here and I'll see. We can see it. It's, it's literally, if I get out of the way, it, can we see it at all? No, probably not. It's a, uh, it's on the back wall. No, nope, can't quite you see You can it. see the very tippy top yep. color cover but of it. It's Casanova is a great quilt also for scraps and for working in a variety of colors. And Jamie made that particular piece. To me, it is kind of an updated log cabin. And I know how much everybody likes a good log cabin. And again, something maybe not as traditional, but again, you could use scraps or that, um, I'm going to flip through the book because sometimes you aren't really sure what is going to be. Look at this with all those scraps. Wouldn't that be fun? Wow. You get a lot of things in that one. Um, this one with the braided twists in it. So it just, it's all ideas for you. And I know, um, some people have made several out of this book. And again, if they, if anybody's made anything out of this book and shared, want to share kind of some of your experience or give input on things. It's always good to hear from other people. I, I love this one too. Mm -hmm. So just gorgeous, mm -hmm. just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Jamie, we, I mean, you, you know us, we can fill time. Yes. 
we're getting down you know, almost at the top of the hour. Oh my gosh. And I know. Yeah. And, and because, well, thank you for sticking with us because we've yeah. talked about a lot of things and we still have two, two more, more two more reveals, reveals um, for you. And so my goodness gracious, if you have any questions about the things that we have been talking about, you know, first of all, there is a phone number, 641-366-3336. If you have trouble on the internet, if you have trouble finding it on the website, I mean, whatever, or you're reading something and you're not sure what it means, just call us yeah. because we love to be able to help. And so often we can get to the root of the problem or answer the question and de demystify anything that's out there so quickly. We love it when people call. So don't ever hesitate. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'd love to have you come in person. We're open Monday through Friday, 10 to 5, Saturday, 10 to 3. With the Iowa, all Iowa Shop Hop coming up in June, there will be, in June and July, there will be two Sundays we yeah. will be open, um, a kind of thing for that. Okay, we have the opportunity for an in-person event. Yeah. yeah. So, so exciting. You can plan. So um, we have the Rule the Roost coming up next week. Yep. You can come, and that's a sewing day. Or, uh, yeah, that's I a creative day. Creative it's day. a creative day. Creative day of opportunity. Whatever it is, you need to be this creative. This particular one we're going to talk about is just Just come fun. and have fun. Just come and have fun. Like, literally. <laughs> but but we would like to have some RSVPs. Yes. So I all I have to show um, is a print off of my computer screen. <laughs> it is on the computer right now. Um, you can go to our webpage, hiddenchickstudio.com slash mocktails not cocktails they're mocktails and this uh whole idea of mocktails is trending right now so what better than to combine that with our girls night out here in conrad so on wednesday april 26th um i believe the hours for that is actually four to eight i am calling this event four to seven um, just because of the uh, everything that's going on. And I'm not even revealing all of the details nope. right now. Just know that it's mocktails and appetizers. Correct. But we are asking that you RSVP to give us and an idea of... How, how many, many people? people? Because this event is free. Mm -hmm. There is yeah. no charge if you come to this event. So when you RSVP, we would, of course, love to have your name. We have no problem with you bringing your friends. So if you bring five friends and you put all their names on the RSVP list, that's awesome. So uh, the only way, we cannot scan this product because it is no. on our website you have only. To. Yep, you have to go to our website. So if you can go to or our call website us. or call us, um, henandchickstudio.com slash mocktails. Right. Simple, it will take you to this page. When you click the RSVP today, you can say a number and then it, you can also type the names in. That's, That's exactly what we're right. asking you to do. Yeah, so we have a better idea of preparing for food. Again, this is a free event for all of our customers. We're inviting all of our customers and you are welcome to bring your friends. Of course, we love it when um, you bring your friends that have never been to Hen and Chick Studio. And there might be some more fun things going on during Girls' Night Out. Um, Red Bag Club members are going to get an email um, at some point with a little added um, bonus if you're a Red Bag Club member. So there's more things, you know, to come with that. <laughs> but we definitely want to make sure that... There's always more things to come in. We still have one more. That's right. right. We're not done yet. There yeah. is one more big reveal. You know we love our Hen and Chick Studio gear. And we have uh, haven't had anything new for a while, mm -hmm. um, just for a variety of reasons on that. Um, and we decided that it was time for one new shirt. Um, it is a limited uh, edition. Pre-order. We, right, we're gonna, if you know how we do this, we sort of like, we order once and then, because um, we move on, because we yeah. need more clothes. Yeah. We yeah. need more clothes. We're not and, gonna we're not gonna stick with the long time suit. We're right. gonna show it, and yeah. um, it's our traditional logo kind of thing. But correct, Heidi decided was, she wanted to play with get that color on this one. Yeah, and I was so inspired by um, all I'm of the things. Are, until you are you ready? Show. Yep. Okay, I'm getting closer. Are you ready to see the new T-shirt? Because I, I don't have an exact an example, but pre-orders will be taken through April 14th. Um, they've told me that it could take about two weeks. Um, maybe less um, after the order is put in to get so by basically by May 1st um, we're going to be able to see and the new t-shirts. I want to go back to Deanna comment please put me down for RSVP on April 26th. Oh. Um, do you want them to go to the website? To it, do that? Uh, if you could, because or or, or send call. us or yeah. call us, yeah. um, because we can, I won't be going back through all the comments. So, but absolutely, Deanna, yeah. we want you to come. Yeah. Okay, and I'll be sending out um, emails and stuff with like that. Okay, you ready? Here right. we go. 
Here is the new t-shirt logo. Um, it is inspired by all of the 70s <laughs> flower power. Um, I'm gonna call it, that's what I'm calling this shirt, the flower power um, that we have been seeing out in the, um, I'll say retail mainstream. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was wonderful for a spring t-shirt for Hen and Chick Studio. And it will be on a natural colored t-shirt. These are unisex sizes, so they're not women's cut. Um, they're unisex sizes, um, a tri-blend um, t-shirt, and uh, uh, I think they'll be pretty standard um, sizes. Yeah. We have got small, medium, large, extra, extra large, 2X, and 3X. Mm -hmm. um, there is a little price difference um, in the 2X and yeah. the 3X. Yeah. And, and Jamie, I did the pre-order. One of the reasons I did the pre-order is I want to make sure you get a t-shirt <laughs> because we've had it happen before that they come in and they go out so fast that yeah. um that it has um, happened to me and i'm the one that's brought them to the store i know and, and you still, still don't get it and you still didn't get it yeah so we want to make sure that if a new t-shirt is something that you want that you um, have again the next couple of weeks the pre-order it's not that i won't be ordering beyond that i will certainly be ordering more beyond that but not in large quantities and but to not make sure you get the size you want. That's correct. That, because it's hard. We, we don't want to guess. We want to know if you want it, that you want it. Correct. And we have it. For I'd you. rather order 30 mediums and five smalls if everybody prefers the mediums, mm -hmm. but it's always a guess. And yeah. so, and if you are looking at any of our gear, mm -hmm. all of our gear is currently on sale. Um, we don't have that this morning, but you can always go to our website under gifts. Um, go to the tab shop for all, shop shop all products select the gift category and there is a hen and chick studio gear category within that that shows all of the t-shirts including the ones that we're showing you today so again i'm going to pop that up that is our flower power um, logo um, just a little bit of fun and um, spring for us and that is our last big reveal, reveal. for today. It's a lot of things. But Woo! as always, we definitely hope that you found something to inspire you, if nothing else, to make you smile and to get you a little excited about maybe creating something. That's exactly right. And until the next time, we hope you're creative. So have a great day and be creative.